Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to go over what stratified squamous epithelium is. The epithelium is the outer thin layer of tissue made up of a continuous layer of cells that lines the external surfaces of the body, organs, and blood vessels, in addition to the internal surfaces of the hollow organs within the body. There are several types of epithelium found lining the surfaces of the body. These can be distinguished based on a mixture of the number of layers of cells the epithelium is made up of and the shape of the epithelial cells. When the epithelium consists of two or more layers of epithelial cells, this is called stratified. When the epithelial cells are thin and flattened in shape, they are called squamous cells. Stratified squamous epithelium is made up of two or more layers of cells where the apical layer or top layers of cells are thin and flattened. The top layers are more flattened than the ones below them. These lower layers may even be cuboidal or columnar in shape. Only one layer, the lowest layer, known as the basal cells, sit on the basement membrane. These basal cells divide, replacing the cells above them as the ones at the top get sloughed off or die. There are two types of stratified squamous epithelium based on the amount of keratin accumulation on the top layers of cells, keratinized and non-keratinized. Keratinized stratified squamous epithelium is the type that has a lot of keratin deposits built up in the upper layer of cells, creating a tough layer. This type of epithelium is found on the external surfaces of the body, what we call the skin, including that on the soles of the feet and palms of the hand. Because keratin is tough, this type of epithelium primarily functions in protection, in protecting the tissues underneath the epithelium. In the skin found on the body, it helps protect from heat and damaging rays from the sun and from microbes or other foreign substances getting into the body. Non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium is the type that doesn't have much buildup of keratin in the top layers of cells. This type of epithelium is found on the internal surfaces of organs that endure large amounts of physical stress from activities such as eating food. These tissues are kept moist by secretions from nearby glands. It is found on parts of the digestive system such as the tongue, hard upper palate and the oral cavity as well as the esophagus. It is also found in parts of the female reproductive system. It functions in protection from physical stresses. It also again helps protect against microbes and other foreign materials getting into the tissues underneath the epithelium. And that concludes this video on stratified squamous epithelium. Thank you for watching. If you want to support this channel, please subscribe and check out more of my videos.